six, seven, go. One. Chloe, you're too slow. Energy, what are you doing? Come on! A hot pink effing rhinestone chair. <clears throat> I've heard it before. That's what I should have. I was so busy trying to get everything together to make these costumes. Which reminds me, you took care of your prop, right? It's good. It totally slipped my mind that I had to do all this work to Paige's chair. Oh, where are we supposed to buy stoppers? Uh, wow, that's great energy, Brooke. That one to make me get up and dance? Boring, yawning, sloppy, lazy. She's yelling at them because their facial expressions are not expressing energy. What does a zombie's facial expression look exactly. like? That's what I'm thinking. Like, yeah. they're dead. All right. Solo, get your chair. Let's go. Paige needs her chair. Paige needs okay. her chair. OK, go. It's all done. You're just doing it now. Didn't you take that home last night? I told her to take the chair. As soon as the chair came into the room and I touched it, and I saw that my hands were black with marker, I knew right then and there her mother, Kelly, left the chair in the studio. Ding that. Oh, look, she's looking to see if it's. Where are the stoppers? I wanted these rubber stoppers. I'll have them for the competition. No stoppers. I mean, really, this is important, Kelly. Do something. Done. <gasps> you, Abby. You don't need them for the competition. I told you to do it for today. Look, look at that language. Doesn't that embarrass you? That she has to use language like that? That's a, what a truck driver uses. Why would she do that she to Paige? The you're, you're finished. Next. Who's solo? Why are you punishing Paige? Abby should have left the room, came and spoke to me, and I would have explained to her why she had no stoppers on her chair, because I was busy doing Abby Lee Miller's job, making her costumes. Oh, oh, don't get paid. Oh. You know what, Abby? We're done. You're not doing a solo. Neither of my kids are doing a group dance. That's fine. OK? That's fine. Good luck making pay your bills without my tuition. I pay for costumes and props, and I don't get them. I've been here all day making costumes for you while you were down the road eating. Stop eating. That's why you're fat. Goodbye. You were a mean girl when you were 12. You're still a mean girl. I want to go home. We are. <laughs> Paige was frightened because Abby is a 400-pound woman and threw a chair with my daughter in the room. You can credit me for the rest of my tuition for the month. And rip off my credit card number. Arm Schneider! Bigger, bigger, bigger! Give me something! You're like at a funeral. Mia's name is screamed out constantly. Mia! Boom! Hemp! It's in a nasty barking way. It's really mean. Do it. Kick. See, this is this stab. Yeah, but she's getting frustrated now. That kick, kick, touch has been in every one of your dances. So that should be perfect. I think you hear it one way, and I think she's feeling it another way. Because it's, if it's Holly, we're right back to the same thing. I don't need to be here doing this with her. Holly has to stop questioning my every move. It's always this little underlying dig. Like, Nia's not good enough. Nia's not tall enough. Nia's not skinny enough. Nia's not this enough. Get over it. Trust me. As a teacher, we give them the tools. We do our job. It's up to them to go out in the world and use them. I disagree with if that. If I need to wipe her butt all the way there, that's ridiculous. It's vicious at times. And sometimes I don't think Abby realizes the way that she says things and how hurtful her words are. And I'm not asking you to wipe her butt. I'm asking you to do your job. When you talk to Maddie and you're giving her corrections, you're not barking at her and yelling at her wrong. How many times did I tell you this? Time and time again. You don't talk to her that way. Because That's I have to tell her once. I don't know what Holly's problem is this week, but she said to me, you're just barking orders at her. You're just barking at her, which was like calling me a dog, which I did not appreciate. Go out there, flex, point, do what you're supposed to do, 
and we'll see if the judges like it. Thank you. off too because Kalani, you were also in a duet with Nia. I think you both could have been stronger. Now Kalani, you were a little more African than Nia. Abby, I would not go there. I will say both girls were great. Maybe I was shocked to see you do this. I style. think that I think that might be your issue. Where it makes sense for you to do this. Why, because she's had three weeks of it this summer? No, because she's African-American. She looks the part. Abby, what does that have to do with anything? African-American does not mean we come from the continent of Africa. I We're know. Americans. This is ridiculous. I think you've lost your mind. Anyone here who was watching that dance, which you were not, because you didn't show up to do your job. Nia, I'm not trying to be offensive. What I'm trying to say is that I want you to work harder. I want you to be the best that you can possibly be. And I don't think you've even touched on that yet. That is, like, so inappropriate. As history has proven, Abby's really impulsive. And she never takes ownership of what she says anyway. Kalani, you weren't perfect. Did it surprise me what you did? Yes. Do I think that you could be better? Yes. And I can't believe Leslie thought. How I about was going to be a How I felt bad for Peyton. Are you kidding me? Why would you feel bad for her? Because she's she a got kid. a great yeah. opportunity. Yeah. She's not a baby. Listen, my kid was in there. She's eight years old. She was on probation. She had to earn her spot. Apparently, when Jill got off of probation, it was really her mouth that got off of probation. Oh, I am so happy that Brooke is back. I am, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How about that? And she has to win, or oh, she's done. I sure. know. I think Abby is being very tough on Brooke. I mean, she puts her to the top of the pyramid and says that she has to win. Brooke hasn't danced in two weeks. She has four days to learn to dance. I mean, how much more pressure can you put on the kid? There is no way Brooke, sorry, should have been on top of that pyramid. There is no way! Talk, Jill, no. Now that Kendall is off probation, I'm not gonna hold back my thoughts anymore. Personally, I think Maddie should have been on top because she won! Maddie also won because Abby spent all of her time rehearsing her number. She didn't rehearse the group number, she didn't rehearse the trio. The only thing she cared about was Maddie's solo. Sorry, Melissa, it's the truth. I'm calling a spade a spade. I have to say oh, that I'm glad the trio She's didn't got win. a point. I, I knew that I was coming. Say, I'm very happy that that trio didn't win. The trio really didn't work well together. And if they had just one more week, I guarantee it would win the next time out. Kendall can do everything that those girls are doing. I'm disappointed that Kendall does not have a special part. Go. Maddie, you do it wrong. There's a hierarchy. There's a top of the pyramid, there's a bottom. There are different levels of dancers. Oh, yeah. You know that. Oh, yeah, look at Holly, you know that. If you're training. trying to get me to say that my child is weak, I'm not going to say that. We all... Jill has a tendency to say snide remarks about certain students. Um, usually it's Nia. It is very evident to me that she sees Nia as a, as a weak link, that she does not think she's a particularly strong dancer. And I don't care what Jill says. It doesn't matter what you say up here. What matters is what happens on stage. Absolutely, I agree with you 100%. All Put right. your money where your mouth is. I have no problem with that. Oh, but Put Melissa, your money where your mouth is. What's that mean? You're going to buy her a big present? No, this isn't about presents. I think what she meant is, <laughs> bring it. I can bring, bring it. Do bring it. Your bring she I'm gets still an not buying her present. My kid will get there on her own. She will bring it. Amen. I think the real Jill's coming out. And now that she's off her probation, we all better watch out. Leg out and kneel up. One, two, three, four. This week's group routine started out as kind of a play on cheerleading. It's fun, it's artistic, it's hot. Walk, strut, strut, walk, walk, strut, strut. In the group number this week, Paige has a special part. She's the only one on stage when the music starts, and Paige is just totally thrilled to have a special part. Did Kendall do her solo yet? It's not big, it's like a small part. Well, I don't want small parts. I want big parts for my kid. We're off probation. Oh, get in line, girlfriend, get in line. 
Jill was complaining because Paige had a special part and Kendall didn't. Wait in line, because my daughter never has a special part. Is You've got to work your way up from a background. I dancer. thought, I thought I did. Are you kidding and it me? Probably That's will all I have to look way. forward to is yes. watching my well, kid you know, in the back. You know while how you get to the front. Maddie and Chloe are in the front doing their thing. Yes. Kendall can do everything that those girls are doing, and I think they're thinking, well, if Kendall gets it, then that means one of their kids won't, and it's starting to bother me. This you've is had more than Abby one solo, says this. and you've had a trio. Every kid should have something <laughs> special to feel good about. I, well, I think that we should just not watch anymore because it's really annoying listening to everybody bitch. But you know what? That's my that's my joy. This I is know, my hobby, like watching my kids. I know. It's I don't what like I do. I, I would like never watch. not want to watch. I'd rather be shopping. I definitely like Jill. I don't want her to be a doormat, as everyone says I am. So I'm glad that she's speaking her mind. I've got to secure a place for Kendall. I can't stand to watch her in the back again and again and again. Kendall is off probation. I'm ready to fight for what my child deserves. Your backs have to be even on the floor, right? Like as much weight on top. Do you have a minute? Oh. Uh -huh. Is the group done? Yes, the group's finished. Chloe has a special part. Maddie has a special part. Paige has a special part. Can I ask why Kendall doesn't have anything? I thought she was taken off probation. I just did every other person. I would really appreciate if you could Maybe something. not tonight, but I know we have rehearsal again tomorrow. See what you can do. I know you're busy. OK, thank you. What was that mother saying to you? Asked me why Kendall didn't have a special part in the dance this week. She did not. She I hope Jill doesn't become a problem. Maybe she didn't understand that it's inappropriate to question a choreographer. I, I really, really hope that my daughter and her daughter didn't hear you talking about them to their teacher. I wasn't talking about them. Jill thinks that Kendall is the greatest dancer since Anna Pavlova. And that might have been true in her old studio, but you just walked into a studio that has a lot of talent. These kids don't mess around. Kylie, pick a glass and let me pour you a glass of wine. I thought it was a good idea to have everybody come to my house and have a party to welcome Brooke back into the group. Oh, uh, well, gonna get okay. the party's about to start. Hello. When Jill and Melissa walked in the door, the atmosphere went from like boop, 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 to <laughs> Here's to the pyramid. Oh, God. Look, I'm the queen. What was your conversation with Gia tonight? I said, how come every kid in there except Nia and Kendall had a special part. I just want to clarify, Jill, that when you come in and you're new, then you obviously start at the bottom. And so you need to work your way oh, out. Do you and think I looked bad asking? I really? Well, asking for something that I'm paying for, asking for something that every I other kid in there has. I, I, Wait, you have a long history. Your, mm -mm. For your child, There's a long history there, Jill, that you have no absolute I don't want to have to do something nice for you. I think Jill's gift giving is a bit ridiculous. Work hard the old-fashioned way. Don't try to bribe your way up the pyramid ladder. Well, let me ask you this, Christy. Would you do it if Abby asked no. you? No. If it got you privates, no. you want privates so no. badly, you wouldn't You wouldn't run tuition. Nope. Or but whatever. What? You know what? For a private? I wouldn't because well, Abby I would. has asked me to make head. I but would. you know what, Jill? You're just like her. I think that Jill and Melissa are two peas in a pod. I think they both are after the same thing. They're going to kiss Abby's ass until their daughters get ahead. But it's not me, it's Abby. You need to talk to Abby about everything. Melissa works at the front desk for free so that she can have free privates and free dance lessons. She plays a certain game, and we don't play that game. Abby doesn't do anything, Melissa. We mm. know that. She sits there and goes, Melissa, do it. She's the one that schedules it. When people want a private, I forward it to her. No. Melissa is Abby's friend, and there is the root of all the tension among the dance moms. I just think everyone should be treated fairly. Exactly. It's blatant why your daughter gets everything, because you do everything in your power to get Maddie ahead. No, I don't. Yes, you do, Melissa. I, I don't, don't think do. you should have to defend yourself for something don't. Abby gives your kids. I don't think it's Melissa's fault that Abby likes her kids the best. Let's face it, she does, so her kids get the privates. You make sure that nobody else has a chance well, because of all the things you do. Oh, please. That is such that's why I didn't want to come, so I'm leaving. Go ahead. We knew you would leave because you deflect everything. I don't argue because I'm not like you. No, you're not, Melissa, and I'm not like you. Thank God.
I can't believe that Kelly is allowing this to happen. Is this how you throw a party? Get out. Come on, baby. Why do you have to get so personal about it? And I believe that if any one of you did what Melissa did and got the privates that she gets and had your child up top all the time, you would but feel the same way she does. It. We're not willing to sell our soul to the devil to and get to the top of the pyramid. Decision. Jill is really turning this group upside down, and she thinks she can come in here and tell us how to be. Guess what? We can't do that. Hey, new girl. I gotta see go. yourself out. I gotta go. Oh, thank you, Kelly, for your hospitality. You're welcome. It's amazing how things have changed once you're off probation. Nine to eleven small groups, top five. I'm gonna start with fifth place. Entry number 227. I want it now. Woo! The girls were great in the group number. I thought that they showed their personalities. I thought that, you know, they looked entitled. We would all take a big bow to the audience. Our top five, nine to 11 small groups. The competition didn't go well. Fifth place? Are you kidding me, fifth place? We didn't come all this way to be fifth place. We might as well have stayed home. Mackenzie was my only student to receive an overall first place award. Those two other teams, they really showed us up. You did great. Girls, come on, I want to talk to you. Moms, I came, I flew 3,000 miles, did everything I was supposed to do for that. Really? You started out great. Your individual parts were wonderful. As soon as you had to dance together as a group, whew, to hell in a handbasket. OK, but why can't we? Look well, at your daughter, she's 14 years old. She couldn't do the turns in second, her knees bent. Okay, she's so late. we're doing them with her. Come you, class. you only give them practice with their turns. Give the other three she's who in are the in the group. She's in the same studio with the same teachers. Work on it with them, go you go sit with there. You. Work go on it with them. them. Okay, honey, right now, let's go. 32 go potes, go. Go. go, go. Well, obviously, she can't do 32 go. potes. She can't do one. Wow. Girls, Work go. on it with them. You're her go. teacher. Hey, don't be so stupid Girl, all the time. I'm not stupid at Yes, you are. You be a bad teacher. I put the dances in it. I find it so insulting that Abby came into the room and told our kids that they weren't committed. Those kids bust their butts for her. I'm not happy with what I saw. I definitely think that Abby's choreography is getting stale. I think she's been doing this for too long. Maybe I need to go somewhere else. I don't. Me and Christy. Christy and I, you idiot. Christy and I. My God. Zach, you've lost it, Abby. You've been doing it too long. You're stale. My stale is better than your best day will ever be. <laughs> Look in the mirror, girlfriend. Look in the mirror. Please. Don't eat me, Abby. Don't eat me. You know what? <laughs>